What is up? It is Young Shade. I will tell you another story. This is this one is pretty silly and interesting and cringe. All right, let's get this started. So uh, let me think what I can call my names for this. I'm gonna give them alternate names just to protect their identity. So Jimmy will be one of them. Uh, what shall be the other one? Um. Jimmy and Greg, how about that? So, uh, Jimmy is, he went to high school with me. Uh, I started being friends with him sophomore year of high school. He's quite the strange kid, uh, but he's a good kid, you know. Uh, not sure exactly what's wrong with him. Uh, me and some of my friends have a theory that he may be an alien because uh, we can't really understand what may be wrong with him. Uh, that's, a, that's a whole other story. Uh, so, um... Then Greg is a friend that I met in college. I met him, I think, sophomore year of college. Uh, and, um, and yeah, so, like, this was, uh, there's this one situation where this uh, was going to be the first time uh, Jimmy and Greg ever met. So, let me explain that. Uh, so we, all three, love horror movies. Uh, so we were planning to go see the movie It uh, in theaters when it came out. So what happened was uh, we were on campus um, and we all met up uh, and went into, uh, let me think, who, whose car was it? Uh, I think it was, uh, yeah, I think it was Gre uh, Greg's car that we were in. So we started heading to the theater, which is about like uh, 15 minutes away or something like that. Uh, but like while we were on the way, we were having good conversation or whatever, just like uh, they were getting to know each other, Jimmy and Greg. Uh, and uh, also like a, a while when we were walking to the parking lot uh, before we left campus, uh, they also were like we were all talking, you know. Uh, so... So yeah, as I said, Jimmy is quite the character, very interesting, quite strange as well. Uh, so we were, yeah, having good, relatively like okay conversation, like in the car, and and then uh, we we're starting to get close. Uh, so like the last few minutes of the drive, like nothing was really said, and basically all quiet. Uh, and then suddenly, like we made it to the theater, uh, and we were all getting out of the car. And then while we were all getting out of the car, Jimmy's like, I fucked at least 10 bitches. But like me and like uh, that, he didn't say it like in that specific voice, but he sounds like uh, quite piercing, like weird, unique voice here. I mean, uh, so on top of it, it was very random, very strange. Also, uh, Jimmy, I can almost, or no, I can 100% tell he's still a virgin. Uh, at the time, he was like 23 years old. Now he's 24, something like that. Uh, and, um, and I'm almost, I I'm almost sure he never had even his first kiss. But he's one of those virgin guys who, like, want to pretend that they've done stuff with girls when they really haven't. Uh, but the way he did it, though, like, the way he said that it was just all so cringe because it was, like, in public. We're getting out of the car, just about to see a movie. This is, like, 20 or so minutes after he meets Greg. <sighs> and just that statement is just like so unrealistic the way he said it the way he is and, and just like so just cringe but that was the story you're gonna be hearing a lot about jimmy and my other stories but i may have different names for the future for him but he's quite the unique guy i have quite the unique friends strange cool lit uh, savage, all the above. Uh, so that's why I am able to tell tons of stories. I am also all those adjectives as well. Um, so would you please subscribe and check out my other stories? Thank you very much. All right. I gotta go now. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. All right. Subscribe. Bye.